Hi, my name's Maddie and today I'm going to talk to you about trying to live as plastic free as possible in the context of having a young family. Um, earlier in the year I did a plastic free Lent blog um, and found it incredibly challenging and interesting trying to figure out how to do things, how to buy food, buy toys, buy everything that we needed for the house. Um, with as little plastic as possible. There were some things that it just didn't work with and there were a lot of things that I found it was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so eight months on I just wanted to talk about what's stuck, what's difficult, what we're just not managing to do. Um, to be honest I thought I wasn't managing so well until I wrote a list of what we're still managing to do. Um, we get all our meat and veg and cheese from the market now or um, from somewhere like Sainsbury's but only if it's not packed in plastic. Um, I go to the meat market with Tupperware and um, the vendors tend to recognise me now. They know that I come along with my Tupperware and they put the, happily put the meat in my own Tupperware. Same with the cheese as well. That took that was a little more challenging. They did like to wrap it in cellophane as much as possible, but now that they know me, um, a lot of them will skip the cellophane, just put it straight in the Tupperware, which is really great. Um, we also now manage to get things like rice and pasta on a regular basis um, from our local waste free shop which just opened up this year um, in the one in Leicester is called Nada um, you can find it online and that's great because it was really really difficult rice and pasta was just one of those things you just couldn't get that didn't come in a plastic packet um, so that's really really good they also do things like lentils and cereals and we get a washing up liquid there as well now bought a glass bottle and I just take the empty bottle back every time it runs out so that's really good um, one of the things I'm disappointed in is that I, I tried to do my own yogurt um, during the blog and I thought it was a success but unfortunately two or three days down the line the, the batches of yogurt would be a bit off straight away so I think I was doing something wrong um, I think it's definitely possible but I was doing something wrong and unfortunately I've just not had a chance to try it again I would like to in the future still got my yogurt maker um, but yes yeah, just not working at the moment so and I do rather like yogurt and the boys really like yogurt so we do get our yogurt in plastic tubs still so that's definitely something that needs working on also toys is difficult I like to buy wooden toys for the boys as much as possible and there's also a lot of environmentally friendly toy companies out there but they do still send it with quite a lot of plastic packaging which is a shame. Um, so I think really the conclusion that I've come to is that we're doing as much as we can, particularly the small family. I do struggle sometimes last minute if we've not got food in then yeah we do end up buying stuff with excess packaging and I do feel bad about it. but. We try our best, it's it's difficult to be perfect and I hope that eventually I'll get more organised but with two little kids it's just really really difficult to do that sometimes. Um, but yeah I think the conclusion I've come to now is that the next thing I need to do is start writing to companies, particularly like I was saying the environmental toy companies um, and saying you know why aren't you trying to avoid plastic, you're clearly doing really well as far as how the toys are made um, but they're still coming in plastic and there's still quite a lot of packaging in the boxes so do you think you could do something to try and avoid that try and come up with another solution and I'm sure other people are doing that too because obviously if you're buying with those companies it's something that you're looking for um, and other companies as well one of my colleagues um, has stopped buying from Subway at the moment because he brought his own packaging in for his salad he brought some Tupperware in and said can you sell me my salad in my Tupperware and they refused to so he's going to write them a letter um, to ask why they won't do that because it it's, shouldn't be an issue really. He's provided his own, his own container. Um, so yeah, I think the next thing I'm going to do is start uh, coming up with maybe a list of companies that I use quite a lot that are still putting things in plastic packaging and say, look, this is something I'm interested in. Obviously, it's in the news. People are really talking about it, particularly after David Attenborough's documentaries. And... Um, and yeah, is this, is this something you could do something about? Is it something you're already looking into? So I suppose uh, it might be a good idea for a lot of us to do that right now, um, to start putting the pressure on. And also not just pressure, but encourage the companies because they may well have been considering it already. Um, and I think it's obviously, it's a really good way forward. So yeah, it's, it's challenging, but we are managing it and you can do it. And um, yeah, I definitely say go for it try the best that you can to avoid plastic because it is doable and 
every little helps and if you know if everybody did it then all the companies would have to change their policies so yeah great go for it and happy christmas <laughs>